Our new bed is here! <laughs> she looks so perplexed. We love the new bed. giant comfy dog bed which she loves she goes in there a lot squished dog <laughs> harlo you squished in there what you doing oh stretch good morning good morning your tail wag happy morning so good thursday morning it's a good morning for lots of reasons one i slept great two I got up today and I didn't need my walker thus far, which is amazing. I'm so happy about that. And three, we are getting our new adjustable split king bed today. It should be here within a few hours. So I was going to make the bed, but since they're going to move this one downstairs for us, I think I'm just going to take everything off and fold it up because we're bringing this bed to Judd's mom's house because that's where we're going this weekend and we're going to put this bed in Judd's old bedroom so when we visit, we can sleep on a queen bed and not a full bed. <laughs> and if you're wondering why we wouldn't move this one to the guest room, well, the guest room is smaller, obviously, and the full bed fits really well in there. So we don't want to put the queen in because we feel it would just take up too much space. We use that room as like a hospital room for all my medical stuff, and we just don't want to overcrowd it. And <laughs> my dad always said, make sure you have a good bed, but not an overly comfortable bed in the guest room. Otherwise your guests will never want to leave. <laughs> Vlog is loading and back on my nutrition. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but sometimes I do unhook from my 24 hour feeds momentarily. Like this morning I unhooked for 20 minutes while I got ready just because it does get annoying to wear a backpack all the time. And when I get frustrated with it, I refer it to it as my leash. So it was nice to have a little break, but back on the feeds, still increasing my rate so I can hit that day feed rate. Hoping to get there soon. So an update on Harlow's speak task. So if I'm ever down in public by myself and I need attention, she'll bark and bring attention to me. We are now doing it away from her meals. Harlow. 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 Yes, come on. Harlow, speak. 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 Yes, speak. Speak. Good girl. So you can tell she's a lot more quiet without her meal to make her excited and I have to get her excited with my voice but she wouldn't do this before she's making progress you're just such a quiet dog good dog so the goal here is to do this hand signal and then she'll bark and she did well like at the end of our little training session here i didn't have to get her excited with my voice she was responding just to the hand signal but she's not barking as loud as she can she's still holding back but i'm still really pleased because i'm looking for progress not perfection she's doing awesome our new bed is here harlow place you stay over there good dog well they're taking our bed out and look at what i find under the bed these are all the caps for my feeding tube to be <laughs> And there's Judd's side of the adjustable bed. It's coming together! Ta-da! Wow, this bed is a lot taller than our last one. And I think it's gonna feel kind of weird without a headboard. We can't use the one we had before because that's for a queen bed. It won't fit on the king size, but I'm gonna put the sheets on now. So I ordered a sheet set that's specific for Split King adjustable beds on Amazon. And so it comes with two Twin XL fitted sheets, a big top sheet, and two pillowcases. Ta-da! Our bed! It is very tall compared to our other one. Carlo, hop. What you think? Don't fall down the middle. Actually, it's not all that noticeable, the middle part. Lay down. Alright. Whose is whose? <laughs> Where is this moving? <laughs> she... <laughs> Do you not like that? They move now. It's cool. Okay, so it 
is a bit weird without a headboard, and we have these lights from Ikea that we clipped onto our headboard, which we don't have anywhere to put them now. So we'll probably get a headboard. There's attachments so you can attach a headboard. Oh, my pillow. Oh, that's so awesome. Let's do it all the way. Wow, you can like literally just sit all the way up. <laughs> I don't think Harlan knows what to think about this. Okay. Man, this can really like squish you up. <laughs> she looks so perplexed. It has a button to lay flat. You just have to hold it for like two seconds. Ah, <laughs> you go. Do you love our new bed, Harlow? Just having this little incline is already so much more comfortable and I can adjust my bed how I want, Judd can have his bed how he wants. And since I move so much in the middle of the night, now hopefully I won't wake him up with my tossing and turning. We love the new bed and I can tell y'all exactly what we got. The mattresses are Serta and they are i-series 500 cushion, whatever that means. It's a hybrid mattress so there's some spring and some foam which is ideal for Judd and I and then the adjustable bases are called right edge adjustable base it's pretty simple it just has the head come up and the feet come up and that's all we needed we're really happy with it it's two separate pieces twin XL twin XL but put together it makes a king we also opted for the 10 year warranty, meaning if anything happens to the adjustable base within 10 years, Mattress Firm will come and take care of it. We went with financing, so this was all affordable. I did check with my insurance company if they would help cover the costs because the main reason we were going for an adjustable bed is my chronic pain, my reflux, I have to sleep inclined at night, and the pillows that I stack up always fall, so eventually I end up laying flat which doesn't help my reflux, and it would just be better for my health and more comfortable. So insurance wouldn't cover any of it though. They would only give me a legitimate hospital bed. We did not want that, but my doctor wrote me a script and on the script it said adjustable bed, new mattress, something like that. And then he put the diagnosis codes of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and acid reflux. And because of that, we were exempt from sales tax. So that helped. And the remotes are wireless. But the adjustable, uh, duh, I can't talk. The adjustable bases themselves plug into the wall. I think Arlo's used to it now. When it started moving at first, she was like, what the heck is this? But she doesn't care anymore. <laughs> right? If I lift this foot up, will you be good? <laughs> She's still like, what is that? <laughs> Are you moving? Are you moving? You dribbled on the bed already. You already marked it with your slobber. <laughs> Look at how she's laying. Are you just gonna take up all the space on the bed? <laughs> and there is like a spot here where the mattresses meet, but honestly, I think it's fine. Harlow doesn't seem to mind it. <laughs> okay, I gotta finish making the bed. You're so silly. I off. Oh, this is really high. Yeah, be careful. Good dog. Hey, give me that. Why do you have Ellie? <laughs> Goo. This is your new bed, Ellie. The pillows don't really fill out the bed anymore, and this blanket doesn't reach across very well, so I put it diagonally, but we're gonna have to get a new comforter, because even though this one's made for a king, it barely covers the sides and just a blanket hog, so that's not gonna work. I'm actually thinking of redoing our master bedroom, not like going crazy, but finally getting some stuff for the wall and changing the top bedding, maybe changing the drapes to something more decorative. What do you think, Harlow? And this is where our old bed went. Harlow, are you stuck? We didn't have anywhere else to put it and we're taking it to Orlando tomorrow, so it's just one day. It's fine. Harlow, come on. You can make it. Come. Come on. There you go. See you fit. <laughs> Are you keeping an eye on me? 
You're so good. You've been there quite a while. You're a good dog. Okay, Harlow went to lay down, so all is good now. So about 15 minutes ago, I was packing for our trip this weekend and Harlow started nose bumping me on my leg, which means I'm going to faint from my dysautonomia. So I stopped what I was doing, I praised Harlow, reinforced her alerting, and then I lay down and elevated my feet and it seems we have averted the syncope, which is wonderful. That's part of Harlow's job. She naturally knows when these fainting spells are gonna happen. So she'll tell me about 10, 15 minutes in advance. And because of that, I can take precautions to avoid them or at least be safe when they happen. And y'all saw that Harlow was staring at me quite concerned. That means even though I was taking precautions to hopefully prevent the syncope, my body still isn't quite right. I'm still having issues. And then she went to lay down, no longer concerned. That means we have overcome whatever it was that was going on with me. So I'm really, really thankful for Harlow's natural ability to alert because if it wasn't for her, I would be fainting much more often. But with her, I can prevent them sometimes and be safer when they do occur. I'm also really glad that I was feeling a bit better than usual this morning, but now my usual symptoms of just the pain, I'm starting to get a headache, my dizzy spells, they're coming back. And that's the reality with chronic illness. You know, your health and symptoms can vary even from hour to hour. So I just take advantage of the good times and do what I need to do for myself in the more difficult times. So right now I'm gonna listen to my body and listen to my pooch and take it easy. I see you peeking. Harlow, come in, come. Well, it's my first night in our new bed. When Judd gets home from his shift, he will also have his first night in our new bed. Can I help you? No, I don't need you right on top of me. All right, we compromised. She's gonna lay on my lap instead of laying on my face. So anyways, as I was saying, first night in the bed, my body really started to crash towards this evening and I just feel so comfortable laying in this bed. I actually started stacking up my pillows to sleep inclined and I thought, oh wait, I don't have to do that. I can just raise the head of the bed. And this is a remote. There's two buttons to lower and raise the head, two buttons to lower and raise the feet, and a button to lay flat. I think this is not only going to help with my reflex, but my pain as well to get me in more comfortable positions. And of course, sleeping inclined will help with my acid reflux. And if I'm running formula through my feeding tube overnight, I need to be inclined as well. And even though I'm trying to transition to day feeds, remember that if I don't eat enough during the day orally, I'll have to run formula overnight to compensate. So there will be nighttime feedings still sometimes. And so this bed, I think, was a great choice, especially since our last mattress was around 10 years old. It was time for a change and I'm really happy with the change. Well, I'm ready to go to sleep and I'm really interested to see how I feel when I wake up in the morning. Maybe I won't have so much nausea or heartburn or pain, but we shall see. And with that, I'll say goodnight and thanks for joining us on our adventure.